Hey there guys, Zach here from Rimbasa and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 14291. This build includes a number of features and enhancements over the last public preview build which was 14279. So diving straight in, the first noteworthy change in this build is the introduction of extensions for Edge. Yes, extensions are finally here and they work pretty well. Uh, there's not many extensions to test right now, but there is uh, there's three official ones that you can test. So as you can see here, if we go into the little hamburger menu, there's an extensions option. Clicking it will give you this menu. Get extensions. This will take us to this website where you can download these three extensions. We've got Microsoft Translator, Reddit Enhancement Suite, and the Mouse Gestures extension. So if we download all of these and run them. Okay, so let's run them all. This should be in my downloads folder now. Yes, so let's run all of them. Microsoft Translator. All right, so that's that's now extracted. So now here, this is the um, the actual extension itself. So you have to side load, load these in this build. You can't actually install them from the store. When Redstone rolls out officially, Redstone 1, you will be able to just install them from the store. But right now you have to kind of do it manually um, somewhere. So I need to select this folder, uh, this folder, select. And there it is, Microsoft Translator is now running. So if we load the other extensions up, we need to actually run the executables first. Let's run mouse gestures and let's do this one as well. So now we have all three extensions running. So they're up here. You can see here we've got a couple of options, although they're not really options. It just tells you where the, the extension is uh, located. And yes, so right clicking on them gives you the option to remove. And of course, if they if the extension allows it, you can actually show it on the address bar. So now the mouse gestures extension shows up here. So this is the mouse gestures setup page. We click up here on the extension itself. You can customize it. So turn on mouse gestures. So back. So it's that apparently. So to use the extension, right click on a web page, then gesture with a mouse. So if we actually try this extension, because I'm actually quite curious as to how it works. So if we go into this one, when it loads up, so now that's loaded here. Also, there's a, oh, that's a bug. So this <laughs> this UI is pretty broken apparently. So can it go away now? Yes. Okay, fixed. So this is that web page. So let's see what mouse gestures we actually have. So we've got back to so back arrow, scroll up, scroll down, advanced gestures, scroll left, close, close all tabs except current. Let's actually try that one. So if we got this and just do that, or oh, is it right click? Yep. Oh, that's really quite cool. Um, let's open this back up again and see what other ones we've got. So we've got refresh current tab. So that would be that. That will refresh the page. Wow, I really like this this uh, extension actually. This is very, very cool. Um, stop loading. We've also got forward, back, scroll up, scroll to bottom. So when the tab loads back up, scroll to bottom. There we go, that works. So yeah, there's a bunch of different extensions that you can customize and stuff. Very awesome indeed. We've also got the red redstone. We've got the re read it Reddit enhancement suite, which is uh, this thing here. So RES tips and tricks. Welcome to RES. You can turn modules on and off, configure settings for the modules using the gear icon link at the top right for features requests or just help getting questions and blah blah blah. Subscribe to R slash enhancement. So yeah, this is an actual pretty complicated. Well, I say complicated. If you're a red um a red yeah, if you're a Reddit user, this would be it's actually going to be a pretty cool extension for you. If not then I don't think you're actually going to take advantage of this because I don't really use it. Um, keep calling it Redstone. I don't really use Reddit, so this isn't really the program for me. Which one was closed? Was it like that one? Yeah, I really like that. Damn it, I had a web tab open. All right, let's go to, um, let's use the Bing Translator one. So let's go to Google Espanol edition. So um, this is the Spanish edition, I think, I believe. Yeah, well, why wouldn't it be? That's a really annoying bug. Um, all right, so yeah, so you can see here now up here, we've got uh, translate this page. And it should now translate the page into English. So pretty awesome indeed. And that's pretty much it for the available extensions. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Um, what else is new in this build? Pin tabs to Microsoft Edge. You now you can pin things. So let's pin you. And that will just hide there now. So you can switch between other tabs. And you still have a little icon there that you can always go back to. Very nice indeed. Paste and go options. So if we um, copy this text, for example, open a new tab. Right click in the area here. We now have an option to paste and go, which wasn't there previously. So now you can just press that and it will just automatically take you to that web page. Very nice indeed. There's also an updated Maps app. So I believe this is pre installed. If not, I'm going to have to download it. So let's go to Maps here. 
yes, welcome to the new maps app. No thanks. Along with all the cool new stuff, there might be things that aren't quite done yet. Help us make maps even better so that more on feedback. Ha ha ha. So here's the new UI. Maps has a brand new user interface. So yes, nice new user interface at the top here. You've got a nice navigation bar, quick access to your account, uh, share feedback, settings, and a lot more, I imagine. So if we close you off here. Well, okay. <laughs> Pre-release software, guys. That's, uh... oh man, now this whole system's crashed. Um... Okay, we'll be back. Maps, let's try that again. Maps. Yes. All right, so here's the new user interface. Where was I? Uh, turn by turn navigation you've got here. Very nice, you can search for things. So let's search for, I know, the London Eye. In, in Nevada, apparently. That's what I want, the actual London Eye. Thank you very much. And when this web page loads up, you see here I've got a nice little window here that gives me lots of details and get directions, all that good stuff. Very clean user interface, very nice indeed. You've got tabs up here, so all the locations you open will come along at the top of this navigation bar here. Very, very nice indeed. What else is new? Updated alarms and clock. So if we go into alarms and clock here, you can see it's slightly updated. This UI is new, but other than that, it's pretty much the same. So this UI is the same and all that stuff, but just creating a new alarm is new, which is pretty nice. Uh, some improvements for Japanese users, Japanese one-handed Kana, Kana. I cannot pronounce words that aren't English, so I apologize. Uh, one-handed, I'm gonna say Kana, Kana touch keyboard. So you can now choose a one-handed Kana touch keyboard for Japanese text typing, which is very nice indeed. And Japanese lined mode text input canvas. So when you're using a pen, for example, uh, that will work pretty nice. And of course, the feedback hub, which I wrote about previously, is in now in this build as well. And there's also a feedback hub notification. Perfect timing, Microsoft. Thank you very much. So this is the feedback hub. Uh, it's pretty much the insider hub. It's the, it's the result of the insider hub and the feedback app having a baby. So this is kind of both of them in one. Uh, it's taking some time to load, I admit. But yes, this is the homepage. So we've got a quick access to make in submitting and searching for feedback within Windows. This is very interesting. Why is this not loading properly? There should be a hamburger menu down this side, but it's not loading. Hmm, feedback. Maybe there shouldn't. Maybe I lied. Feedback. Let's try launching it from here. Uh, feedback hub. Yes, <laughs> there it is. So. Welcome, use the feedback hub to tell us what features you love, which features you could do without, or what, or when a feature could do better. So yes, this is pretty much uh, both Insider Hub and Feedback App in one, very nice indeed. So you've got your Windows build here, Insider Activity, Feedback Activity, Free Profile, all that good stuff. You've got Feedback Access, which is uh, actually pretty good looking now, a lot better than what it looked like before. Adding new feedback is pretty much the same, all fantastic. You've also got your Insider Announcements, Alerts, Quests, and your actual profile account. So yes, I believe that may be it for this build. Yes, that's it. So that's all the new features in this build. Quite a long video, actually. Um, build is just the build developer conference is just around the corner. So there should be a lot more features coming to Windows 10 inside of builds very soon. But until then, thanks so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.